Here we go for 13,489. We've got the Artifacts 4 box break. The only reason I brought that up in all honesty is I remember that specifically for SBX. Because people were really like, some people were really upset that like, and if you remember, I actually had the one conversation. Three ninety nine for the Coyotes Taylor Hall with one of our members who was getting really mad about it. Because a couple of the boxes missed it, but then some of the other boxes compensated for it. For the Oilers, the 65 Koskinen jersey patch. Uh, Mitchell, but as I said, so it's not them putting the, the cards in pat like they use a company that pretty much I think Tops and Panini use. We've got an aura for the Philadelphia Flyers of Carter Hart. So it's not just a Burdak who deal it's they use a man like it's they off uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to think of the wording. Nine ninety nine. Hey, we got another miss cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not just Lafreniere. Mikey Anderson. Oh, apparently this sheet was just horrible. We've got for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Braden Point, dual jersey. Oh, and Mitch, do not get me wrong. I I definitely think. Speaking of, base pack, I definitely think there's a lot of improvements they can make. For those that were wondering, by the way, on the Redemptions, uh, they did not do anything else on uh, the Redemption conversation that I had. So they, they basically shut down my people. Two ninety nine Schmaltz for the Coyotes. So again, I think on their Redemption stuff, I think it's absolutely horrible. And that's a sexy card. Number to 30, Connor McDavid. But again, kind of like what Max, you just said there that you wish Panini was back. The difference is there's positives and negatives to every company. Every company is positive and negatives. For example, Mitch, or sorry, Max, would you like Panini back in the game so that way they could sell their own products on their website absorbently high prices and basically create their own market price for boxes just because they can? I feel like that is a very, very, very bad move to collectors, personally. We've got a Mark Stone for the Vegas Golden Knights. Ooh, nice. We've got a gold rookie jersey, number three. I'll at least give kudos to Upper Deck that they don't play those games, right? Like, there's things that they can improve on. For the Hab, Shea Weber. But the one thing is they don't produce, like, here's artifacts. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think. 999, Lindstrom. You know, artifacts, Fanatics exclusive blaster. Artifacts. Kluts and Chara exclusive blaster. We're going to come out with another Artifacts Gold version. Then a Platinum version. Huberto Remnants. Like, at least they're aware that you can't throw too much stuff in the hobby. <laughs> We've got a $4.99 for the Rangers, Lungfist. But I will say, I think they're um, 75 David Perron for the Blues. I think their customer service for expired redemptions and box problems absolutely need to be fixed. And another one with no uh, no items. That to me said, I literally submitted, so to give you an idea, to give you guys an idea guys, of why I got really upset with them in all honesty. They basically told me that they can't do anything. One of our guys submitted a McDavid expired redemption which is a McDavid retro, ultimate retro rookie auto. I think it's 99 or 175. Oh, this camera. So realistically, like a $1,500 card. He got a Tarasenko Future Watch auto as a replacement. That card sells for 80 bucks. 399 for the LA Kings, Ruby. So what I asked them is why, like how is that possibly in the top tier? 
Ooh, that's a very nice one. And the same number. We got an autograph. Jersey. Patch number six. Because I thought it went by tiers, right? And what they basically replied to me was, the Tarasenko is in tier, uh, the highest tier, be the book values at 250. So that's a replacement. 299 for the Sharks of Evander Kane. 299 for the Preds of Roman Yossi. And I honestly, I just thought that was a joke. Like, I'm like, you gave the guy an $80 card on a card that's arguably $1,500. 175 Hellebuck for the Jets. And do not get me wrong, you guys know how my personality is. If you got a four five hundred dollar card, I think that's great for an expired redemption. I think that's more than fair. Two ninety nine Malkin for the Penguins, but I feel like that's an absolute joke. Ninety nine for the Capitals of Kuznetsov, and a wild card two eighteen, like. Here's my honest opinion. Like, again, not necessarily a rant, but I'm just going to give you, like, my, my vocal opinion. 1617 SBA, Matthews is a redemption. I will tell you right now, if somebody opened up a Matthews and they give him a Tarasenko in response, I would be like, that is an absolute disgusting, like, replacement. Again, I'm not saying get him a $900 or $1,000 card in return. But you can't give someone a $80 card on a $1,500 card. $3.99 for the Blues, Ryan O'Reilly. $3.99 for the Devils, Scott Gomez. $2.99, Kessel for the Coyotes. Or a McDavid for the Oilers. Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Dual jersey. The other one I think that aggravated me really, really a lot. 99 Emerald of Shifley. Is we had a customer in store. LA Kings rookie redemption. Get the expired redemption. Ooh, nice finish. And for the Panthers to 25, Keith Yandel. I'll explain the story after we do the randoms. Yandel patch for the Panthers. All right. And we got the rookie relic redemption and the wild card. Did I have another one in there that I just put in there by accident? What do I feel like? There we go. Autograph. So the autograph will go number one. The gold will go number two. And the wild card number three. So good luck. Three times. One, two, three. Scott K gets the autograph redemption, jersey patch. Ramsey gets the gold, triple uh, dual jersey number three. And Rocky gets the wild card.